हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू इवेंट्स ऑफ हॉस्टल क्लास एंड टुडेज लेक्चर्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द आर्म प्रोसेस योर फील्ड दैट श्योर फाइव स्टेज पाइप लाइनिंग आर्म ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो हियर इज एन टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट्स हुईज आई विल डिस्कस एन टूडेज क्लास वन बाय वन फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट पाइप लाइन्स देन आफ्टर आई विल डिस्कस कंसेप्ट अबाउट फाइव स्टेज पाइप लाइन्स then i will discuss difference between three stage and five stage pipe lines and lastly i will discuss that sure internal architectures of five stage pipe lines and organizations so now to start our initial concept that sure introduction about pipe lines so what is pipe lines in general way a pipe line is a continuous and somewhat overlapped momentum of instruction to the processor or in the arithmetic steps taken by the processor to perform an instruction that means as we know when for the processor to be used the pipelining concept here the processor to be execute any individual instruction by consisting number of sequence steps that means by using this concept one instruction to be executed before the completion of the previous job one so now the question arises why it to be possible in general way the pipelining concept to be used for increasing the cpu throughput and also increases the utilization of hardware resources so that we have used the pipelining concept for overlapping job multiple instruction executions so now goes to our next concept that sure concept about five stage pipelines as you know the pipelining concepts to be used multiple number of steps for executing any types of individual instructions in between the given processor so in case of five stage pipelining here the pipelining to be provides five stages for executing any types of instructions by using one clock cycles or multiple clock cycles so now the question arises what are the stages of the five stage pipelining concept so here is the uh, process or steps of five stage pipelining concept first here that to be phase and the second phase that should decode and the third phase that should execute and the next one that should buffer and data and the last one is the write back so now the question arises what is the function of phase phase here the phase phase to be provides for accessing or fetching any types of instruction from the given memory locations and that to be allocated and that to be located on the instruction pipe lines after that now goes to our next phase that sure decode so what is the function of decode phase here the decode phase to be decoding all over the instruction control logic and also to be accessing all over the register data elements or operand elements as that to be required for its executions and after that it to be providing the data path controls then now goes to our next phase that sure execute here the execute phase to be provides for executing all over the data value for performing shifted or rotation mechanisms through the help of barrel shifters after that the alu to be generated the desired outcomes then after two goes our next phase that sure buffer and data here the buffer and data phase to be used for accessing any types of operands or any instructions if that to be required for the next instruction executions that to be possible by using your buffer and data phase that means here if the programmer to be necessary for accessing any other data from the given memory location to for executing with the current job executions that to be possible and also in case of buffering and data phase the alu to be uh, buffering all over the desired outcomes now goes to our next phase that sure write back here the write back phase to be consisting all about the desired outcomes so which is to be generated by the alu then it to be write back on the register back locations where the memory addresses to be created and after that it to be providing the desired outcomes on the view screens so by using this five stages the pipelining concept to be execute any types of individual instructions in very efficient ways so now goes to our next concept 
So the next concept is difference between three stage and five stage pipelines. Here is the difference. First one is the higher performance and the second one is the less cost effective and the third one is the increased clock rate and the last one is the memory bottleneck. So how it to be provides higher performance than three stage pipelining concept. In general way in case of five stage pipelining as it to be provides multi cycle for instruction execution. So here the CPU throughput is much more as compared to three stage pipelining. In second concept that to be provides less cost effective as it to be uses multiple number of hardware resources through which all of the job to be executed in an efficient manner on less time quantum. So it is very cost less effective as compared to three stage. And another type of difference that should increase clock rate. That means as we know in case of three stage pipelining compulsory every instruction to be executed only one clock cycles. That means whenever we have to execute any types of complexity applications there is some conflict to be occurs in between your hardware interface. So that in case of five stage pipelining that to be provides another facilities for executing this individual instructions to be possible by increasing the clock time periods. So that in this case that to be increase the clock rate. So how that to be calculated the clock time periods. In case of five stage pipelining here the program time complexity to be calculated as that is your n instruction into CPI divide f clock. n instruction means here the number of arm instruction executed in the programs and the CPI to be specifies average number of clock cycles per instructions and f clock to be specifies the frequency of the given job executions. Okay. So, by using this concept we have to calculate the time quantum of the given instruction executions. In this case it to be provides another type of disadvantages that is your memory bottleneck in case of three stage pipelining. But in case of five stage pipelining that to be avoided. How that to be avoided? In case of five stage pipelining it to be used different location for storing the operands and storing the resultant outcomes. That means all over the raw data that to be stored on a particular locations and the resultant outcomes whatever to be generated that to be stored another location. So there is no conflict occurs. But in case of three stage pipelining in this case that to be uses only one location where the desired outcomes to be stored and also the raw data to be stored. So in this case there is no memory bottleneck concepts to be occurring. So now goes to our next concept that is your internal organization of five stage pipelines and organizations. In similar way in case of three stage pipelining whatever the uh, different types of functional statements or elements that to be contains in this case also that to be contains some functional a uh, basic elements. Here also it to be contains some bank registers that means the register bank and the two bus that is your data bus one is A bus and another one is the B bus. Similarly it to be contains another type of bus that is to be called as ALU bus but one other element basic elements that to be contains that is to be called as cache memory. Okay. So what is the function of register bank? Here the register bank to be specifies all over the processor state informations and it to be contains three read port and two write port through which all over the register data to be accessed in a very efficient way. And by using that three read port and two write port it to be specified all over the data elements in a single clock cycles. That means multiple number of instructions or operands that to be accessed simultaneously by using the three read port. And after that whenever that to be processing the desired outcomes it to be used simultaneously to write port. In this case also it to be contains another basic elements that is to be called as ALU. That means here the ALU was to be also used for providing all over the desired outcomes which is to be generated on given register bank locations. And also in this case it to be contains two data bus one is the A bus and another one is the B bus. And by using A bus that we passes all over the data directly from register bank to up to ALU and by using your B bus through the help of barrel shifter it to be shifted all over the operand value bit by bit format. But another mechanisms that to be provided 
when all of the result and outcomes that to be processing if the program are to be necessary for providing one intermediate data that to be possible by using your data and buffer concept so when the data buffer concept to be fetching all of the data element from the given memory locations here it to be uses the concept of catch memory okay so by using this basic elements all of the internal architectures of the five stage pipeline to be processing different types of cisc data that means complex instruction set computing data in a very convenient purpose without any errors so now to check the next concept that sure pipeline hazards that means there are some situation called hazards that prevents the next instruction in the instruction stream from being executing during its designated clock cycles here hazards reduce the performance from the deal speed up gain by pipelining in general way the pipelining hazards to be classified into three types one is the structural hazards and the second one is the data hazards and the third one is the control hazards so what is the functional concept of structural hazards here the structural hazards arise from resource conflict when the hardware cannot support all possible combination of instructions in simultaneously overlapped executions that means here the structural hazard concept to be provides when the processor to be execute multiple number of instruction in simultaneously ways the in this case there is very conflict occurs in between the hardware resources if the hardware resources cannot be understand all over the overlapping multiple number of instruction executions so in this case the structural hazard consists to be arrives okay so now to check how that to be arrives by using some illustrations so here is an illustrations here a machine has shared a single memory pipeline for data and instructions as a result when an instruction contains a data memory reference that means load concept it will conflict with the instruction reference for a later instruction that should instruction 3 that means here i will describe three types of instructions at a time that to be executed but when the instruction one to be completed their executions after that instantly the instruction to be started its executions but when the instruction two starting its executions another load consists to be arrives that means some data to be fetching from the given memory location for executing with the instruction 3 so here in case of instruction 3 there is some structural conflict to be occurs that means the hardware to be very conflict which instructions that to be executed first okay so how that to be uh, avoided that to be avoided by using one concept that's to be called as stall concept that means to resolve this we stall the pipeline for one clock cycles when a data memory access occurs the effect of the stall is actually to occupy the resource for that instruction slot that means in this case it to be provide some time quantum for executing every instructions once the time quantum to be expired after that it to be executed the next instructions so that the hardware cannot be conflict okay so now goes to our next types of hazards that's your data hazards so what is data hazards they arise when an instructions depends on the result of a previous instruction in a way that is exposed by the overlapping of instruction in the pipelines that means the data hazard consists to be arrives suppose you have to executed a single job but that single job to be consisting multiple number of instructions and all over the instructions to be depends upon the first instruction to its executions that means suppose you have to uh, executed one job that your calculators and by using that calculators you have to need performing the addition subtraction multiplications and divisions but whenever you have to required for performing your subtraction multiplication divisions you have to need for accepting as an operand of the addition result one of them so in this case the data hazard concept to be arise so how that to be arise now to check by using one illustration that's your illustration of data hazards that means here the data hazards occurs when the pipeline changes the order of read write accesses to operands so that the order differs from the order seen by the sequentially executing instruction on the on pipeline machines 
that means here we have to calculate five types of instructions like your additions subtractions and also logical and operations logical or operation and last one is the logical exclusive or operations but here all over the different types of instruction like your subtraction and or exclusive or that to be depends upon the are resultant outcomes for accepting one of the operand to performing their resultant outcomes so in this case whatever the problem to be occurs that's your unsequentially data access management so here the data hazard concept to be arise so now the question arises how that data hazard concept to be avoided the data hazard concept to be avoided by using one concept that's to be called as forwarding concept that means here the problem with data, data hazards introduced by this sequence of instruction can be solved with a simple hardware technique called forwarding. That means as we know in case of data hazards it be provides one problem as the precedence rules to be provides the job cannot be executed and sequentially one after another. So how that to be executed sequentially one after another as the preceding rules to be provided by the processors. So here it uses one concept that's to be called as that's your forwarding concept. That means when the initial instructions to be executed properly, after that it to be stored all over the desired outcomes on a given memory locations and also that to be copies its own data resultant outcomes in different purpose. That means suppose another type of subtraction to be required for the addition resultant outcomes as an format of operands. In this case, uh, instantly the addition resultant to be provides their resultant outcomes. Similarly, in case of multiplications that to be accesses the resultant outcomes of the additions in an efficient manner. So, in this way all over the data elements to be forwarding for the next job executions so that there is no conflict to be occurs in case of data hazard methods. So, in today's class we have to learn concept about the five stage pipelining that means why we have used the five stage pipelining only we have to use the five stage pipelining concept for increasing the clock rate how all over the job that to be executed and higher performance and also the five stage pipelining concept to be provides if the programmer to be needed for executing all over the instructions by using multi clock cycles that to be also possible and there is no memory bottleneck concept to be arrives ok. After that we have to learn the internal structure of the 5 stage pipelining concept that means by, by using the catch concept how all over the data elements that to be forward for its next job executions that to be also learned in this class. So, for today's class that is all. So, for today's class that is all. If any conflict or confused in your mind, then you can ask me with the help of comment box. So, lastly, thanking that all. Keep watching.